What holds us back in our lives is our fear. And sometimes when you take a very close look, you find out that your fears aren't exactly what you thought they were. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? But actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It's in all of us. And as we let our own light shine, we subconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So it's holy work to move past your own fear. It doesn't just help you. It helps the world. You are more than you know, but you've probably suspected that for a long time. But I mean, no, you are really, 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 really different than you know yourself to be. You're so much smarter and so much wiser, and you have so much more that you deserve. You have so much vibrational credentials and stuff saved up for you. There is so much good that you are entitled to. There is so much well-being that you were born knowing was yours. It's a legacy, it's gifts. It's a legacy of well-being that is huge. And I know you don't know it. I know you don't know it very well because things around you have made you think otherwise, but I know this about you. So if I were standing in your physical shoes, we would say to them if we were standing in your physical shoes, if I were standing in your physical shoes, I would let myself hope for outrageously wonderful things to come to me. And I would 
test the universe I would say universe if I'm so good show me if I'm so worthy show me if I'm so good show me if I am a blessed being then let the blessing start pouring into my experience if I'm wise let me be smart if I'm blessed then I want to be happy this is a story that we would tell to them you just got to play this game a little bit differently than you've been playing it and just the slightest little shift in understanding who you are now as you listen and allow yourself to calibrate to who you really are to that greater knowing to that eternal knowing anytime you have a repetitive voice that's always there your intuition is always present your emotions are always temporary mm. what slow motion this side mm. A lot of people have emotions of fear, which is false evidence appearing real. Your intuition is not about illusion, it's about the truth. Your intuition is always about the truth. Emotions will manipulate you into believing the truth. Your emotions will help you paint pictures of grand illusions. It will persuade you, it will try to convince you. Your intuition doesn't have to do that because it's coming from a place of calm knowing. Your intuition is that inner voice, it's not the external one. Now, anytime, deep divers, you wake up and you're in the past or in the future, that's your emotions. That's the emotions of fear. That's not your intuition. Your intuition is always in the here and now, guiding you. Key word, guiding you. Your intuition, your intuition is your inner GPS. Oh, baby. It is your inner GPS. When you are insecure, full of doubt, that's the emotions. Intuition is always calm, it's cool, it's like, chill, I got this, I already know, what's up? Emotions are like, oh my gosh, what's going on, what's going on? It's panic, it's fear, it's confusion, it's worry. Your intuition, your intuition is always conservative, relaxed, silent, peaceful, knowing, deep divers. Your intuition is your greatest guide. The emotions of fear that a lot of people have, which they confuse for intuition, are their biggest distractions. Okay, so one is a guide, one is a distraction. You know, the difference between magic and miracles is magic is when you use your mind to tell the universe what you want. Miracles is when you ask the universe what it wants and how you can serve it ability or through your non-physical eyes who are always looking for your strength the source within you knows who you are knows the stability of your being and never sees anything that you're living in the attitude of vulnerability to you because the source within you knows as you are determined to feel your power rather than your weaknesses your strengths rather than your weaknesses your clarity rather than your confusion your sureness rather than your unsteadiness but we want you to know you have the choice in every moment to define how you want to feel and if your desire to feel good is strong enough you will always find a way to come back into your power everything that happens is a co-creation and when you decide that you're gonna blame the one who seemed at most fault instead of take responsibility for the part you play the reason you feel so awful is not because you're mad at the little girl is because you're all upside down about how things are being created in your reality you are running around this planet as cooperative components to one another not to do bad things to each other and not to teach other lessons but to sift through the data to put things in your vortex 
to which your inner being is already aligned so that you can experience the joy of alignment. And what we're wanting you to understand is that the source within you, that your inner being, that who you really are, that is converging with you out here on the leading edge of that which you are living, that source within you has a different opinion often than you do if you feel anything less than wonderful. The source within you is always acknowledging the value in the rendezvous. The source within you is always looking for the positive aspects and the benefit of. And when you make one small decision, and it really is a smaller decision than any of you realize, when you make the small decision that you are going to feel good no matter what, that today, no matter what you are doing or where you are going or who you are doing it with, that you're going to look for reasons to feel good, you begin to tune yourself to the vibration of the source within you, and then that becomes your dominant point of attraction. None of this is accidental. Nothing is accidental. Everything is vibrationally aligned. And the composite of vibrations that you hold are all part of it. So was this an awful thing that happened? Certainly not. Are there awful things that happen? No, not really. This is the thing that we want you to understand. From your broader point of view, everything fits into vibrational alignment with the well-being that you want and deserve. And as you begin looking for evidence of that, you begin living more of those moments so that it's peak, 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 peak. The seed, the beginning, the origin, the pearl. Beginnings come in many forms. They are not always a beautiful seed placed intentionally in the nourishing soil. Origin stories are complex, surprising, multi-layered, and usually reveal a central image or detail that represents the fully formed being. Simply stated, the end is present in the beginning or the entire oak tree resides within the acorn. You are bumping up against a growth edge. It is from the grit that the pearl eventually comes to be. The true seed is elusive. If we follow any story towards its origin, it spirals farther and farther back in time. In this way, we are always the seed and always the fruit it bears. The offering The offering carries a clear as day message and a call to action. It is a time for something to be given and given up for the sake of the bigger picture. It's likely you will feel attachment and hesitancy. You will make excuses, but recognize the link between the word sacrifice and the word sacred. One leads to the other. When we offer up something to the greater good, we lighten our load and become more able to serve. The threshold. You have arrived at a threshold of initiation, here to usher you into the new reality. It requires you to leave behind the you that you thought was so well formed. Threshold initiation means a part of you will be lost in order to make space for what is next. A metaphorical death must occur. Some may not recognize you. You may struggle to recognize yourself. Just take that one necessary step towards the future that calls you. The ocean. The power of the ocean is unmatched. To step into its salty waters is to step into the unknown. By its sheer volume, the ocean represents the unconscious. All that is beyond our understanding. We cannot live within the ocean. We cannot claim it, manage it, or own it. It rejects our every attempt to dominate nature, yet its overwhelming power calls us, inspires us, and invigorates our life on land. It dissolves the little us into the big us. When the energy of the ocean is present, there is change stirring that is beyond any change you have known before. Life is change. Let the waves crash. The ocean displays every emotion without shame. To witness its glassy moonlight surface and its unforgiving storms is to know the full spectrum of the human experience. The tear. Tears are droplets of letting go. Once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Often the tear is what's needed in order for conversations or situations to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. 
Some say that tears are so powerful in softening our egos that they open up the portal to the unseen world. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us and we are reminded of their internal embrace. We serve our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. Our soul recognizes the truth. When someone speaks it, a cool wave of relief washes over the room and all the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. It's contagious. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. Step towards the act of truth. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your virtual energy, health, and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings, set it free. Crown chakra, I know, <laughs> I am a part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Faith that source is guided, faith that source is gonna bring you through, faith that this road that you are on is the right one, faith that there is a silver lining around this cloud. For those of you that are doing the work, for those of you that are becoming better, for those of you that are taking responsibility, I feel like you're definitely gonna feel connected this week. And no matter what your external world looks like, I almost feel as though there's gonna be a subtle knowing, faith the size of a mustard seed that is gonna step in for you this week and help you to just hang on a little bit longer help you to know that even though you've been through some rough moments, these events are being guided and you are being supported by the divine. You may be asking, why did this thing have to happen? Why am I going through so much loss? Why is it so hard? Why does it have to be so hard in order for me to succeed? But do you know who you are? Do you know that you are a lion? Do you know that Source would never let you carry anything that Source did not believe you could bear? To whom much is given, much is required. You don't get to be the King of Wands without knowing what it feels like to be tried in the fire. Do you understand what I'm saying, Leo? Lift your chin, boo. Lift your chin. This is a week of rebirth. I definitely feel as though you are shedding your skin. Just saw 811. You are freeing yourself and I'm seeing 444 right now. You guys are freeing yourself from what is no longer serving you. Taking a look at the receipt. Taking a look at what has been supporting you and what has been hindering you. There is gonna be a rebirth in your mind that allows you to accept something that offers you more fulfillment, something that offers you more happiness something that intuitively feels good for you. It feels in alignment. You're gonna know that Source sent you this opportunity. You're gonna know that you're being guided by Source. You're gonna know that it's not a coincidence, that everything that's happening right now is happening to further you along and put you in a better position than where you have been in the past. Your challenge, and there it is, your challenge is the worry and the fear about what it is that you're trying to manifest for yourself. We have Aries energy present here, so shout out to Aries Nation. But that's a part of your challenge. Being so overwhelmed by all of the things that have gone on or all of the things that you feel like you're responsible for. Um, these could be fears that you're dealing with. It could be different things that people are saying. Um, whatever it is, I definitely feel like it is attached to this loss that you've had. But Spirit wanted you to go within. It's almost like you were placed in a situation where you had no choice but to go into the moon. You had no choice but to go inside and find the answers. And I feel like this is a week where you are finding the answers. It's difficult for new vibrant energy to enter your life if it is clogged with old and outdated energy. Cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter clearing, cleansing, and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't, th don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt, and blame. Purify yourself, thought, word, and deed. Decluttering is modern day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. Yes, things are foggy and potentially unclear, but there is magic in this. It is showing us that all is not as it seems. Sure, this can be frustrating, but it also leaves room for surprises. 
It's important to be aware of the stories we are telling ourselves and remember these narratives may not be happening exactly as we think. The power of a world that aligns and then acts. The power of individuals who are synthesizing with these changing times. The power of those who choose to grow. The power of those who are connecting to their deeper selves and transmitting their magic to earth. There is no expectations or one size fits all. All we have to do is become willing to look up to the super full moon, look within ourselves and listen. Mercury's alignment means that we will delve deeply into our past. Old messages from the universe that we may have missed or may have not been fully open to receiving or accepting at the time will come back to the surface as we revisit all that has come out in the last six months. The reason that these messages are resurfacing is that we are now emotionally ready to deal with what we may have not been ready for initially. Our gut feelings and intuition will be our most powerful tools during this time. We are reminded not to doubt ourselves. Everything that we experience, think, and feel is our soul's way of communicating with us our deepest truths. Listen to that inner voice as you allow the abundant energy of God to flow through your being. As you do so, you will be showered in inspiration and increased creativity as you align and express who you truly are. Retrogrades open powerful energy portals that help to clear away blockages. They offer us the opportunity to experience huge shifts in our life if we pay attention to the wisdom of the universe and act on the lessons that are being provided. If we do these things, we will experience incredible growth. We will feel more deeply aligned with who we truly are on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level, and we will feel more powerful than ever before. We are reminded not to cling to anything. Trust the process that is unfolding. That which is leaving is creating space for incredible breakthroughs. We will be blessed with the ability to see past mistakes and illusions and realize the hidden truths around us. Insights will be at the forefront as we allow our intuition to be our lighthouse, guiding us safely home. Any worries and fears that may arise should be replaced with a deep faith that everything is happening for a reason. Things are happening exactly as they need to and exactly as the universe has designed for them to. We will naturally be pulled to step away from which we know in our hearts of hearts is causing chaos in our lives. Things that feel heavy or cluttered and which creates a toxic energy are no longer welcome. This is a time for saying enough. We are asked to slow down during this retrograde and to fully take in all that's around us. If we continue to go at the pace that we have been going and continue to neglect to care for our bodies and ourselves, we will be met with resistance. There has been a lingering anxious energy around most of us brought upon by overthinking and overanalyzing. It does us no good to worry about things that have not even happened. We are being given the greatest gift of all, freedom. So be easy about it. There's nothing that you should be doing that you're not doing. You can't get it wrong. Just take it easy and start having more fun and be nicer to yourself. And anybody else you feel like being nicer to, but mostly be nicer to yourself. Be nicer to yourself. No more manipulating. No more trying to get people to respond to you. Calibrate to the whole of who you are. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete.